Welcome back everybody to Young Everyone Sports. My name is James Irvin. Today we are grading the top five offensive tackles in the league. So if I don't say Quentin Nelson on this list, that is because he is a guard and not a tackle. If we're looking at overall best linemen, like I almost thought about doing, then yes, Quentin Nelson will be on this list. He's not. Guard video will be coming out sometime here shortly. But what do I value most in an offensive tackle? Well, for me personally, I value my offensive tackle to be more of a pass blocker, right? And I want my guards to be better at run blocking and center to be good at snapping the football. So, yes, I would rather have my offensive tackle be a better pass blocker than run blocker. Also, I may be an idiot, or I may sound like an idiot on this list, because I'm not the best at grading offensive tackles. But... I think I'm not the worst in the world, so here's my list. If you have any complaints or you just want to call me an idiot, just go down to the comments down below. And you know what? While you're there, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to hear more of my idiotic takes. Without further ado, let's get right into the list. Also, I'm not idiot all the time. Um, coming in at number five is Ryan Ramchek, one of the best young offensive tackles in the league with New Orleans Saints. In fact, the Saints have two guys on this list and you know I just feel Ramchek has the potential to be the best offensive lineman in the league uh, he's been doing it for two years and those, those couple of years that he's been doing it he's been phenomenal at protecting Drew Brees now who will he be protecting Winston or Hill who knows coming at number four is Ronnie Stanley Baltimore Ravens one of the most Lockdown offensive tackles there is out there. He's a great blindside protector for Lamar Jackson. You can't ask for a much better guy to help pass block with that. Also, with the run game, he's a much he's a good run blocker there as well because Lamar Jackson does like to run, and that offense is spent more around the run game. Number three, the other off Saints offensive tackle who has been doing it for a little bit longer, that's why I have him above Ramchek, is Teron Armstead. He's been another guy over there who's just been really solid. Saints just have a really solid tackle group all together over there, trying to build up guards a little bit interior for the Saints, but their tackles are locked down with Ramchek and Armstead. Comes in number three for me. Now, top two. And I don't mind either one of these two being in order. You can flip-flop either one of these two. I just know these two are my top two. Coming in at number two for me, though, is Trent Williams. Whether he was with Washington or whether he's with San Francisco, who we just signed a major extension with, Trent Williams is one of the best tackles in the league, okay? There's a lot of guys out there that are just, you know, he's one of those guys that can hold down the line. He doesn't hold a lot. He's a great pass blocker. He was the best player on that Washington team forever. He got out of there. Thank God for his career. Now he's got a real chance at, and he pushes up the Niners to be Super Bowl contenders. I think they just lost Joe Staley. He comes in. That offensive line doesn't miss a beat. You know how good you have to be to just connect with those guys that well. And for Joe Staley, one of the best offensive tackles of all time, or in 49ers history, you know how good you have to be just to come right in and fill that spot. Trent Williams is a beast out there. And the Niners, thank, thank God they signed him to a large extension because he can protect Jimmy Garoppolo and he'll definitely be protecting Trey Lance for years to come. Now, before we get to the number one spot, let's get some honorable mentions in here. Garrett Bowles, he is one of the most intriguing guys. I liked him coming out of college, but I just thought he wasn't good. And then he held, he was good, but then he held. I remember one game, and it was like a Thursday night football game against the Chiefs. And I think it was either against Chiefs or Colts, someone like that. But every play, he was just holding and holding and holding. That was the big complaint of him going in. You know, he was just like an average tackle, but he held too much. He was always grabbing the jersey and get like the most holding calls in the league. And he was back. This last past year in 2020 took a huge, huge, huge step up. Uh, Garrett Bowles took a huge step up. May I show really showed out his potential. I think he's only getting going to get better from here. So if he can continue to do that, he might be getting on this top five list. Um, all another one, Laramie Tunsil. Texans gave up way too much for him. In fact, this is he's a guy. I made a video, Dolphins are the smartest team in the NFL. Go watch that and kind of broke down the entire thing. Laramie Tunsil is a great tackle. Uh, was he worth like every first round pick the Texans ever owned? Probably not, but he's still pretty good. And n another one, Tristan Wirfs. And if he does this production as he did last year, he will almost certainly be on this list. Tristan Wirfs 
is phenomenal. He, he did that as a rookie. Rookie tackles have problems with holding and like getting set. Wirfs went in there for Tampa Bay and was phenomenal. Uh, I love Tristan Wirfs a lot. If he can just do it, I just did because it's a rookie year. You know what I mean? Like you can't just have one good year of success. Lots of people have one good year of success and then fall off. So if he does this again this year, he almost definitely will be on this top five list. I love Tristan Wirfs and I think he's amazing. And I kind of regret not having him as my number one tackle coming out. I went with Kai Beckton. Should have been worse because Works is amazing. But number one, probably a little bias in here. Who cares though? He's a great offensive tackle who's been protecting Aaron Rodgers and hopefully Jordan Love as he signed a contract extension. And if he didn't tear his ACL uh, towards the end of the season, Packers would have been in the Super Bowl, mark my words. David Bakhtiari. Yes, amazing offensive tackle. One of the best pass blockers, the best pass blocking tackle in the league. Also has a lot to offer in the run game. If you remember that one play against the Eagles last year where Jordan, or Aaron Jones was just running down the sideline. And here comes big old Bakhtiari running down the sideline with you. Guy gives the most effort. He's a high energy guy. He's incredibly handsome. He wears number 69. He looks really good in those new Packers uniforms. Oh my gosh, what is there not to love about David Bakhtiari? He's so good at what he does. And I think, yeah, he's the number one tackle in the league. And he deserves to be the number one tackle in the league. That's my list. Ramchek, Stanley, Armstead, Williams, and big old Bakhtiari. Let me know what you guys think down below. Who's your favorite offensive tackle in the league? And let me know what you guys want to see next for a video. Uh, yeah, because, you know, football season's coming up. Standing predictions coming up. I got another video planned. It's going to be who do I think is going to be every team's starting quarterback by week one. Thank you for listening.